So it's time for hashtag my money story with Expressa, where each week we sit down with someone who has excelled in their chosen field to learn more about their journey with money and the lessons they've learned along the way. Now today we sit down with a man who spends his afternoon slaving away to feed Genie D and the rest Whoa. of the afternoon Express team. Amazing. It's chef and food stylist Clem Pedro. And let's hope that after this morning, the only tears he will be shedding are those when he chopped onions. All right, let's go. Good, <laughs> good morning, I gents. Like that. <laughs> good morning, gents. Clem, how are you doing, brother? Very well in you. Naka, not too bad. Grant, lovely to have you as well, my friend. Are you well? Oh, very good, thanks. Good, good, good. Always let's good get, to be back on Let's set. get some advice here this morning. Clem, let's start with you, man. Your first or earliest money memory. You see, so from a young age already, I was very driven in my, my, my passion, which is food. So I used Ooh. to take all my pocket money, and the rest of my buddies used to spend it on, like, the normal things, like sweets or yeah. whatever. I used to buy ingredients. No way. Yeah, what? yeah. And those old U magazines with the recipes in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was not boring. Why not? Well, Why come not? On, man. Uh, <laughs> well, it's, just, it's, just, it's not the kind of thing that I'd picture for a, for a young little boy, you know. No, doing. absolutely. That was me. Buying yeah. ingredients, buying recipe books. But who was your inspiration? Was it your mom or your gran or your Definitely grandpa? Definitely my mom. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So we've even got a little a recipe file together. Then. No way. So, well, you see what I meant is I, I, I used book, to buy eh? the U magazines for the posters inside. Listen, so, so, so you obviously became a, a successful chef and uh, you're doing your thing, you know, cooking for the Genie D and the kitchens. Um, it's in my CV. It's in your CV now, exactly. Cook exactly. Genie D. Oh, well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. It's a, good, it's a standard to uphold now, man. Good luck. <laughs> what, are, what are some of the hardest lessons that, that you've learned with regards to money? You know, just going through the motions, through your career, to the point where you are now. <clears throat> it's almost a cliche when your parents tell you to save for a rainy day you know mm. have that little bit of extra money in the back in your back pocket for when something goes wrong yeah and you're like ah what's the chance it's actually gonna happen and then it happens oh no and then the cost of like, repairing whatever's gone wrong now yeah. cars tires geezers you name it those things <laughs> are expensive yeah. <laughs> Murphy so, eh? Murphy's a bugger exactly yeah. so being prepared for a rainy day I think is one of the biggest and most important financial lessons I've ever received. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's, it's a clever one. I mean, it, it always comes back to that, Grant. Saving, yeah. saving, saving, yeah. you know, putting your money elsewhere where you can't touch it, you know, to, to, to make provisions for those kind of rainy days. No, 100%. You know what the funny thing is? It's not actually that hard to get ready for those rainy days or those emergency sort of situations, you know? And at the end of the day, it literally can change your financial situation completely. If you mm. don't have a fund available, we call it like a slush fund. And if you do, you don't even think about it. Your life just carries on as normal, you know? So, yeah, yeah. it's good advice, whoever taught you that. Yeah, exactly. Save, save. Listen, um, we're going to get into what are some of the things that you still would like to know with regards to money. So stick around with us right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We'll be back with the gents in just a bit.